welcome back to my channel dear students in this video i'm going to cover one problem related to the orthographic projection of planes let's look at the question a set square 30 60 degree has its longest edge longest edge 35 millimeter is in the vertical plane please try to understand the question and inclined at 32 hp it is inclined what is inclined the edge which is in the vertical plane is inclined at 32 hp horizontal plane its surface makes an angle of its surface makes an angle of 45 degree with the vp draw its projection Dear students, before going to work out this problem, we should know that first we are supposed to work out what is a given plane. The given plane is nothing but a set square, dear students, that is of 30 degree and 60 degree combination. So that position is how it is given in the problem that the set square is 30, 60 has its longest edge 35. Its longest edge is how much? 35 and that is in the VP. Let this be the longest edge and that is in the vertical plane and that is nothing but given as 35 dear students later we are supposed to mark this uh, set square with respect to this longest edge that means it is given as 30 60 combination so place your pro circle here or the protractor and draw a line making an angle of 30 degree making a line angle of 30 degree and extend it now later placing your pro circle here and making an angle of check it for the uh, 60 degree and join mark a line through this so that you could able to work out the set square which is making an angle of 30 degree as well as 60 degree dear students getting this is how you are supposed to work out this but what is an initial position this is the initial position of the given problem why it's because the edge 35 mm is in the vp and inclined at 32 hp we are not supposed to go with edge inclination first the first thing is that we need to work out the initial position of the given plane the initial position as we have discussed several problems related to the planes if you haven't got through it please go through my channel and please try to understand how the problems were solved when it is inclined to both the plane and the second thing we are supposed to work out is surface inclination dear students so with what uh, with which plane it is inclined to vp surface now the surface makes an angle of 45 degree with vp dear student the second step is surface inclination to vp i mean this is pi is nothing but inclined to vp later once the second step is done we are supposed to look at that the edge 35 mm is in vp and inclined at 32 hp what is inclined the longest edge so that is nothing but the third step is edge inclination getting the students the third step is that what edge inclination that is it is with respect to horizontal plane this is all about theta so that is given as 30 degree in the problem so this is the initial position of the given plane because the surface inclined to what surface is inclined to vp so that our first step is that surface to be placed parallel to vp and as the edge is inclined to hp so edge should be perpendicular as the surface in this is one of the straight edge when one of the straight edge is perpendicular to hp it is stated that it is parallel to vp as we have only one straight edge this need to be taken into consideration all the time before placing it parallel to vertical plane so this is my initial position which i am going to plot on the xy line now dear students so as i told that i am working on a rough sketch please you try to use the instruments and work out the first thing you need to work out is what a straight edge to be plotted which is of 35 millimeter dear students on a scale this is a 35 millimeter later placing your pro circle or protractor here along this and make the measurement of 30 degree so that enlarge and extend this line further getting now again placing a pro circle here and checking for an angle of checking for an angle of 60 degree and extend this line passing through this so as my sketch is bit uh, rough you will be getting an exact thing when you work with the instruments and as they are intersecting here please do join this dear students okay as my drawings are not to the scale please try to understand you are supposed to follow with the instruments 
and this is nothing but 60 degree. This is nothing but a set square of 30 and 60 degree and this is in the front view first we are supposed to work out what the front view it is because that the surface inclination to VP. Sorry, in the VP you need to work out. So, that is the reason this is in the front view you could able to see. So, I am marking as let this be A dash and let this be B dash and C dash as it is a three step problem. So, I am giving suffix to this. So, our final view will be in terms of A, B, A, B, C, A dash, B dash. Now, projecting this onto the reference line or at some distance on the reference line we could able to get what dear students here now its top view. So, its top view is what a line when we see from the top. Now, the point of intersection along this is nothing but C 2 comma A 2 is also along this C 2 A 2 along this and this is B 2 V dash. So, this is B 2 as it is a top view as top views are represented with the lower case letter and the front views are represented with lower case letter followed by a prime. So, this is our first step dear students this is nothing but the initial position of the given plane and the second thing is what surface inclination as the surface is inclined to uh, 45 degree we are supposed to take into consideration the first step as this is our first step. Now, from the first step we need to take what is the top view a line measure the length of this line with the scale and add some distance on the reference line. So, make this line angle of 45 degree the, the length of this line should be the exact length of this line. So, this is making an angle of what pi here. So, that pi is nothing but 45 degree dear students. So, I am inclining this because its surface is inclined. So, the same names to be written exactly here with suffix 1 as it is a second step we are reducing the problem. So, this is C A here and this corner this is B. So, likewise you are supposed to work out and project these all points project these all points above here you are supposed to project this you are supposed to project this using a scale the straight lines getting and followed by from the first initial position try to project it and look at the marking points along this this is C along this and this is C. So, C and C intersection this gives me C 1 dash as it is in the front view later this is B from here draw a projector a thin line and along this B you are going to draw one more projector the point of intersection along this and this is nothing but B prime B 1 prime or B 1 dash later from A you are going to project this. So, from here you are going to project a point. So, your intersection is here. So, this is nothing but A 1 prime. So, accordingly joined here students A to B uh, use scale instruments and B to C and C to A. This is our inclination to the V P the surface. This is the second step which we have done now. So, this is our second step in the given problem. Now, what is the third step here is that edge inclination which edge the edge the longest edge is 35 mm is in the V P and inclined at 32 H P this is the longest edge. Now, we are not supposed to look the first step we are supposed to concentrate on the second step and plot the third step dear students. Now, what is the longest edge here this is the longest edge how much is this making it is making an angle of 30 degree to H P as this is making an angle of 30 degree to H P. Now, draw any line making an angle of 30 degree to H P of any length. Now, this is nothing but theta dear students. So, theta is given as what 30 degree here. Now, what is the measurement of this you are supposed to work out here you are not supposed to look at the step 1 the step 2 problem need to be converted to step 3 now in order to get the problem. So, what you are going to do here is that the second step whichever you got after the inclination. So, that need to be plotted here exactly on this let this C and A. So, before that I would like to let you know the easy process is that try to work out a rectangle box here to make sure that to draw accordingly the complete this triangle onto it in order to make you very easy. Now, let us measure from C to A what is the distance measure the distance from C to A let this be the point C now we are going to get the final views that is C dash and this is A here on this let it be ok this line is already drawn for you all. So, this is nothing but C A now I am telling you to make this rectangle of this box let give some naming to it as something like P and M 
so i would like to work out c p m a box here so that i could able to uh, uh, insert this tri triangle into this so what is this to c a this is perpendicular so 90 degree you are going to draw a line measure this length so let this be something p that should be very light in its structure now next a is perpendicular to m and draw for c a line this is perpendicular so you are going to get what m here later this line is perpendicular parallel to this line so you can join this dear students now i got c a corner along this c and a so i am going to work out with hb pencil and take this one using the instruments and measure from p to m where exactly it is so measure along the scale using the scale and measure with the compass and place a mark here so that you could able to join this getting you will be getting exactly 30 60 degrees square here uh, the triangle here dear students my drawings are not as a scale i am repeating once again this is b prime the same thing you'll be getting exact size you need to get here as i'm not working with the instruments i got some reduced one but you need to get exact same thing here dear students so this is how the third step need to be worked out taking into consideration the second step now later what you are going to do here is you are going to project from this lines okay you are going to project from this from all the corners and you are going to project from this this is c this is c means this is c and this is a here you got a here and this is b this is b so joining that a to b and this are to be drawn to this you may be getting exactly center here as my drawing is not to the scale you will be getting like this exactly center b point sometimes so this is the final view of the given problem when it is inclined to hpds students this is how you are supposed to work out and highlight this thing and even this thing these are the final views of the given problem and the theta value given as 30 degree in this problem and make sure to work out here a set square 30 60 degree incline to both hp vp in write up this is our third step dear students by this i can say that our problem is done and the first and the second step need to be done very light and only the third step both the top view and front view be drawn in hb pencil i hope you are able to understand what i am speaking if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe as well as share this content with your friends so that it may help them too good luck